Good morning. It is 10.20 a.m. on Saturday, January 27th, 2018. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Um, I put on a new kind of deodorant uh, today that was given to me as a uh, Christmas gift. Um, it's scented, and I, I usually don't go with scented. The, like, the usual kind that I buy doesn't... Um, isn't scented. This one is fresh lavender is the scent and uh, I keep smelling myself. It's weird. And I, I don't mean like I'm doing that. I just mean like I just keep sensing the odor in a way that I'm not used to. It's strange. Anyway, oh goodness, my camera just insists on continuing to refocus itself. Let me tell it not to do that. Uh, so, <laughs> um, steps forward and steps backward with Luna. Um, we're, we're doing, she's doing better and better, uh, in terms of being stronger every day. Um, but I just realized that taking her on longer walks is unfortunately not a good way to help get her that exercise because, um, because of, I, th I think I mentioned this the other day, the way that she's walking, she's not quite picking up her hind legs as high as typical. And so, as she steps, she's sort of dragging the tops of her nails against the pavement, and that has worn them down until one of them was bleeding and a couple of others were close. And so, like, uh, okay, so <laughs> um, what that I think means is probably that I have to stick with the physical therapy exercise to help her continue to get stronger, but then still keep any walks that are uh, across pavement to uh, short ones for now. Anyway, she's doing well other than that. And, uh, you know, we're working through the uh, trying to get the new bathroom routine uh, stuff. And so we're making some progress there, getting there. Um, uh, but, you know, it's uh, just making our way. Uh, so Mike and I recorded the first episode for our 2018 Oscar marathon last night. So I'm going to post video of that uh, and try to get the audio up uh, today, too. And, uh, you know, stuff's going, um, what else? Um, I'm gonna, um, I think in my head, part of what's got me feeling a little distracted is that we're playing, uh, Dungeons and Dragons Curse of Strahd today. Uh, but they are, the, the, the party is in a position right now where they could go many different places. And so... It's harder to know what I should be more more or less prepared for. It's fine. It's just a matter of that's where my brain is going. I also have to. I, I just got all of these things to think about because I'm also going to rewatch uh, Marvel's The Avengers because I'm going to be on a podcast discussing it uh, on Tuesday. Uh, that's the Welcome to Level 7 podcast is doing a thing where they realized that if they rewatch and discuss um, one Marvel Cinematic Universe movie per week in order. Uh, when they started, uh, you know, this this whole thing, it's like a 10-year anniversary of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, they'll basically, you know, get all the way through through them up until uh, the Marvel uh, or Avengers Infinity War release. And so uh, they're not that far into it yet. But um, when they get to Marvel's The Avengers, I'm going to be a guest on that podcast to discuss it. So I'm going to rewatch that. Uh, also, yesterday evening, I went and I saw Star Wars Last Jedi for the second time. And I did that even though I have other Oscar-nominated movies to see, just because I really felt, having thought about it a lot, that I wanted to see that movie a second time. Because there are definitely movies that exist where when you are focused in your head about like what's going to happen, what's going to happen, that can, that anxiety of what's going to happen, what's going to happen can diminish your appreciation of other aspects of the movie. And I suspect that that might be the case with this one. Um, and uh, sure enough, um, it, it was. So like I found that I think like a lot of people I've heard say is that uh, I enjoyed it even more on the second viewing. Uh, a lot of my initial criticisms uh, faded away uh, a little bit. I'm not going to say it's perfect. I feel like it still feels long. Um, it, you know, could be tighter. Uh, I feel like I wanted more Captain Phasma. Um, 
But on the whole, I feel like the people for whom there's been a huge backlash, like who, who the people who really hate it, I continue to disagree with their their arguments. Um, and while I would agree that if you have to get up and go to the bathroom during the movie, the Canto Bite sequence is maybe the that's that's the moment to do it. Um, I disagree that it's not an important part of the plot, and I think uh, I, I I liked it a lot. So that's how I feel about it. So tomorrow is Sunday, so I'll be continuing my rewatch of Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, and in the meantime, I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes. <laughs>